So hi, uh, so you were on stage and you were talking about 3D games on mobile phones and mobile processors, right? Right, we were showing Unreal Engine 3 up and running on uh, NVIDIA's latest Tegra processor. Uh, you know, a full, powerful next generation game engine running on the mobile device at a really high resolution with good frame rate. So uh, does that basically mean that the mobile phones and uh, tablets and uh, on prior laptops can be as powerful as PlayStation 3 or Xbox? Uh, they'll, certain, they'll certainly be capable of playing the sorts of games that you're, you can build on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 right now. Uh, it's hard to compare horsepower one for one, but uh, on these mobile devices at their resolution, you can get really good performance now with Tegra. So basically, like a mobile phone with an HDMI output, you can connect to an HDTV and have an Xbox in the pocket, basically. Uh, yeah, equivalently. I mean, so you'll be building different types of games. You know, if you're building for a mobile device, you're going to have a different control scheme. You're going to design your game with different amounts of detail because you don't want you know, fine details on screen that you can't see on, a, on the you know, portable screen. But uh, you'll certainly be able to have comparable experiences. Is it, uh, your Unreal Engine, uh, for example, on, uh, on the Tegra or the iPhone, it, it, it renders in, in HD? Um, or is yeah. it a limited resolution or is it 1080p? Uh, it's, let's see, what we're showing, what we showed here wasn't 1080p, I think it was 1280 by 720, um, yeah. but you know, 30, frame, 30 hertz and above frame rate. Uh, so, and it's the full Unreal Engine 3, There's, it's not like some special cut down demo version of it, it's the full engine. So when are the tools available for uh, like the Unreal Engine, uh, when, when can other companies start using it? And um, we're, we're, make, we're going to make it available relatively soon, um, we're just working on uh, all the legal logistics of, of getting the code at, licensed and uh, ready to ship. That's it's soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unreal Engine 3 licensees will be able to use this code relatively soon. Because you showed the demo like two weeks ago on the iPhone, right? On right. the internet, there was a little video and the other platform that you can pronounce is Tegra. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Those are all up and running in Unreal Engine 3 and so all that separates us, that code from licensees is some paperwork that we need to do on our end. How about Android? It's a nice device. We're looking at it right now, but uh, we don't have anything to announce yet. Okay, so it could come soon, hopefully, also an Android uh, compatibility with the Unreal Engine. Well, we're not announcing anything, okay. so I can't comment on that, but uh, it's a nice platform. We really like what Google is doing with Android. What do you think about 3D, 3D glasses and all that? It's cool stuff. I, looking at uh, Avatar up and running in 3D is really a mind-boggling experience. They've yeah. done a great job of you know, setting the camera up and everything so that you really get the full value of the experience. Do you think many people will play with three screens, uh, the surround 3D uh, Unreal Engines, Unreal Engine games? Well, if you have three monitors, then you sure, sure you plug them right in. Uh, that's something that we've seen enthusiasts do on, on high-end games for a while now. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. Thank you.